This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a 61-year-old woman was taken to the hospital after she swerved on an icy overpass and struck a piece of machinery. About 8.42 a.m., the female driver was southbound on the Ross Mirror Connector in Amarillo when she hit an icy patch in the road. She began skidding and struck a city front-end loader on the bottom left bucket. The female driver's Chevy Lumina flipped over, requiring firefighters to extricate the woman. She suffered non-life-threatening injuries. ConnectAmarillo.com reports police arrested an Amarillo man wanted in three states on outstanding fraud and forgery warrants, authorities said Wednesday. Michael Dwayne Williams, 42, was taken to the Potter County Jail Sunday on five separate warrants in five jurisdictions, including two in Colorado and Missouri. Williams allegedly attempted to pass a counterfeit check at an Amarillo retail store Sunday. Williams is likely to be extradited to the other counties and states to face charges. Newschannel10.com reports an area man has been sentenced to 30 years behind bars for trafficking cocaine. 22-year-old Alejandro Nunez was sentenced Tuesday after being found guilty of possession of a controlled substance with intent to deliver. The first-degree felony will also carry a $200,000 fine. Nunez and two others were arrested in November. MyHighPlains.com reports a large group of area children are no longer qualified for free or low-cost vaccines from the Department of Public Health. The change comes as new policies from the Texas Department of State Health Services take effect. Only uninsured or underinsured children are eligible. Other children will have to go through a private practice or pharmacy for vaccines. Cost for uninsured children is $5 for one shot or $10 for two or more. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.